Mm. Stay up slow, stay for a while. Oh, this beautiful moment. Get a little fast for me, baby, my darling. I, I, oh, get a little fast for me, my baby. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the mental house with me. Your host, Khadija. Okay. This is for a specific individual. Um, Abdul Salam, who took offense to my video. And it's okay. Like I said, I, I'm only going to go so far. Um, I don't want to disrespect anybody. Um, I live with it this long, but what I'm not going to do is live any more time in fear. That um, is a, a given. Uh, as, when I start purging myself of all this religious dogma, I begin to get courage. So, just letting you know, I don't scare that easy. And um, if somebody got something for me, they got something for me. And if it is, is for the truth. You know, because now there's a freedom of information. Now. See, the brothers and sisters wasn't privy to this stuff 40 and 50, 60, 70 years ago. Okay, so they had to pretty much go on the person's um, word. Uh, if the person was insane, there was no way you could prove it unless you uh, were part of the crew that put that knew they were in a, um, a sanatorium, right? Okay, so the same holds truth in my mind to Bard Muhammad after I read this story. Now, like again, like I said, I just want you to use your own judgment and you tell me what you think, okay? Uh, because they said voodoo. Murder is what uh, drove Farrakhan, I mean, Farad Muhammad from Detroit. Because on November 20th, 1932, Robert Harris, who received the name Robert Kareem from, from Farrar, escorted James J. Smith into a room with a makeshift altar. In the audience were 12 adult witnesses, as well as Harris's wife and his children. Smith who believed he was being inducted into Allah's Temple of Islam, asked if he would sacrifice his life for Islam. And Smith nodded his assent. Harris then stabbed Smith in the chest and proceeded to bludgeon him to death with an axle rod. Um, after neighbors called the police, Harris was arrested under questions, he confessed to the murder, saying, I had to kill somebody. I could not forsake my gods. Police initiated a manhunt for Farrar and another leader, Ugen Ali, who were arrested and questioned. Harris was deemed insane and committed to a mental hospital. The society cannot be blamed for anything he did, Ali was quoted as saying in the uh, 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 Detroit News, November 23rd, 1932, Farad, Farad and Yugan Ali, who acknowledged leadership but vehemently denied any teachings of human sacrifice and were examined by a psychiatrist, David Clark, who recommended they both uh, have further observation. A judge agreed, and both Farrar and Yugan Ali were placed in straitjackets and confined in padded cells.
with Farrar and you guys, Ali still in custody five days after the murder, Elijah Kareem, the future Elijah Muhammad, led over 200 members into the court building and staged a protest on the main floor with police spending a full day to get the protesters out. On November 25th, Harris was arraigned on charges of first-degree murder. He pleaded guilty, but his bizarre courtroom behavior convinced witnesses of his insanity. On December 6th, three psychiatrists testified that Harris was legally insane. He was committed to the Iona, um, Iona State Hospital for the criminally insane. He died there June 19, 1935. Faced with criminal charges, Yugan Ali was released after promising to help disband the Allah Temple of Islam, while Far agreed to forever leave Detroit as a condition of his release. On December 7, 1932, Police put Farrar on a train bound for Chicago. The Allah Temple of Islam was officially disbanded, though soon replaced by a new organization called the Nation of Islam. Former leader Ugan Ali was replaced by a new chief aide with a new name. And that name was Elijah Muhammad. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. In January 1933, Farrar sneaked back into Detroit and held secret meetings with his followers. Farrar left Detroit a few for a few weeks, but returned to Detroit, resumed preaching on street corners. Recognized by police, he was arrested on May 25th, booked and photographed. He was again released and ordered to depart the city. He renamed his community Nation of Islam. Now, this is straight from the FBI files. Uh, I, mean, I ain't even going to go no further. Because if you bear witness to this, um, I understand why Warren Dean said his mama at the end would not co-sign the fact that this man was God. Now, for those of y'all who want to continue to do that, you're free to do. And this is a free world. But information is also free, and it's a lot easier to get today than it was 50 years ago or 65 years ago when I was a child. So I don't care what y'all say, and you're not ruling nothing over here with fear. This is sheer, complete madness, which is why my father and so many other men that was involved with the Nation of Islam went insane. Now, you can take it or leave it alone. If you like what you hear, you can subscribe and share the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.